Okay, this is an awesome remix. Wow. Uh, this is by Marble Pawns on YouTube. I'm going to link it. Really, really cool. Um, that is a good Dragon Roost Island version. Thank you, Rusteri, for finding this cool stuff. You know, chat, the song Jeremy is pretty, it's pretty great. And that was a single that was like played everywhere. Chat, that was played at the ice skating rink when I was like 11 or 12, like, no, even younger, maybe like eight or nine. So like we're all, all the, us kids, our eight, eight year old, nine year old kids are ice skating. Jeremy Spoken. I'm like, wait a minute. It didn't take, you know, years later. I was like, the, the song is pretty fucked up. Though to be fair, what Anakin did was also pretty fucked up. Just saying. Kind of worked. Oh, I see chat members saying Anakin is, is chill. Well, they didn't say that exactly. They're like, well, what did Anakin do? The younglings? The younglings? Anakin was not chill. Just because we, we liked Hayden Christensen. That dude, he did some pretty nasty shit. Gotta be honest. And that's before he became a, a toaster. Vinny, they're called younglings. How valuable could they be? I know, it's not even that far from ying, yinling. Anyway, listen. Um, chat, I got a, a deodorant today. And one of the, the, the Old Spice deodorants that I like. Uh, I know, finally, it took me, well, I've got 38 years of my life. I finally did it. I, I uh, The brand I like, I've been getting for a little while now. And uh, I'm at the store, and I see... It's the same name. It looks a little different, except it says aluminum free. And it was next to the one I usually use. Same one, slightly different packaging, aluminum free. Old Spice, are you telling me that I've been putting aluminum in my pores? Is that why I'm insane? Yeah, so it doesn't stain white shirts. Oh. Aluminum is used to clog pores and prevent sweat. Now, it's not like lead, right? Like, putting lead in your armpits is, is probably gonna, like, do some damage. It's pretty common for antiperspirants. What about asbestos? How do I get that in my deodorant? What, what brand does that? Well, all right. I thought it was kind of weird. I was like, yo, do I, because it's blue. You know, the, the aluminum free one is blue. And the one I guess with aluminum is white. I should use Tussie. That's the one with asbestos, yeah. And I'm like, all right, well now that makes sense because now I have a blue deodorant and I don't, I wear a lot of white shirts, so, shit, I guess I should probably just, like, put some aluminum up there. What if you just, like, put aluminum foil in a ball and just, like, wear that under your armpit? Like, tape it in there. I'm thinking about some stuff, some good things that I could do. So chat's giving me a lot of ideas. Well, thanks for the valuable information, chat. I understand now. Vinny, did you hear that Disney retconned jizz? I saw that they call it Jats now. J -A <laughs> J-A-T-Z. Um, that said, apparently, hang on, they're saying that there was like some quote I read about how in the galaxy, there are some who still call it a rather uncouth name. So it's not completely not jizz. I think it's still jizz in some parts of the galaxy. I could be wrong on that one. But... You know, just double check yourself because I think, um... They didn't... Jats is a different genre from jizz. 
Okay, because I don't think they completely... I read something that made me believe they didn't totally um, remove the jizz from their chin. Anyway, I am very surprised by that because I think it's a great name. And George Lucas is, after all, really good at coming up with names like Darth Icky, for example. And um, who was the other one? Oh, uh, 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 who was the one? Uh, oh, Therm Scissor Punch was Disney. Never mind. That, that's. No, Glup Shitto's not real. Kit Fisto's a great one. I love Kit Fisto. S oh, Elon Sleaze Bagano is another great one. But, you know, that's only for the books that come out later that show you the pictures of the characters, and they're like, this guy needed a name. No one's gonna know what's e what Elon Sleaze Bagano is on screen. Well, anyway, uh, I hope you're all doing well. I'm going to be beginning the stream in just a moment. Um, but tell me real quick, in one word, how are you all? Just one word. Real quick. Dead, Watto, Sick, Moist, Bing, Dorseless, Clussy, RNG, Fine, Disgusted, Exist, Working. Gorm. <laughs> All right, thanks. Really good. That was a great exercise, everybody. I hope you got your emotions out. I am somewhere between Dorseless and Gorm, I think is where I'm at right now. Yeah. So, I, you know, let me tell you what we got tonight, and we'll see if that can change any of this. Maybe by the end of the stream, we can do another exercise, and you can tell me in one word how you are after the stream. I'll do the same. So, tonight... I have uh, something kind of short called Mario 64 Shattered Reality. I guess you'll find out what that is in a minute. I got Commercial Chaos. I've got um, the bootlegs from last week. Now again, it's just pictures of bootlegs. <laughs> so it's not a particularly highfalutin segment, but it should be fun. And um, I also then have some GTA clones. I think it's like 10 year anniversary of GTA 5. Is that correct? Is it 10 years? Yeah, it's 10 years. Well, I have some stuff that is going to be not like clones that are famous. Maybe clone isn't even the best word for it, but like, honestly, bootlegs and like, well, you'll see low effort, very low effort GTA stuff should be interesting and fun. If not, it's going to be terrible. It can't be any worse than what I streamed on Thursday. Um, Vinny, any word on when we're doing the next Wheel of the Weird? Okay, so, real quick, Wheel of the Weird was a lot of fun for me. I actually really fucking enjoyed it. And, uh, people have sent in a lot of stuff. And I'm gonna be, um, checking out what that stuff is and adding some stuff to the wheel. Um, so yeah, I, I would definitely expect more Wheel of the Weird. But, it is a DMCA nightmare. Uh, all of that like, first show was totally claimed. So, you know what? I enjoy it so much, I don't think I give a shit. Uh, what do you expect? I don't even know. It, it's fine. Uh, so yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll do it from time to time. Uh, we'll, listen, as long as, as long as people are having fun, it's just one thing that I enjoy, I'm just gonna do it anyway. And, uh, we'll, you know, each of the segments, I think it's only ever going to go about an hour and a half. So, uh, expect... Well, I... Based streamer doesn't give a shit about profit. I, I do. I do, because I still have to, like, pay my bills. <laughs> and feed my editors. Like, I feed them like a baby bird. Uh, but no, seriously though, I think... If it is one segment that we all happen to enjoy, I'd rather do it than not. Definitely. So, uh... Anyway. Welcome to the stream. It's been a lot of talking and yapping, but I'm here and so are you. We can begin. This is the first motion-capped 3D animation, I believe, from 1981. Note, this isn't trying to be cursed. 
it just has that feeling to it. But yeah, it was like a display of like tech at the time of like, look what we can do now with computer graphics in 1981. Kind of neat, right? Teapot. Egg. Mental. Beep. Note, I did not skip that. It just skipped itself. All right, one second here, everybody. Just a second. Uh, that's weird. Um, I can't... Mm, I can't scale the window. I'm trying to find a way to make the window a little bit bigger. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure where that's happening. Oh god, full screen is terrible. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Bad resolution, bad full screen. 